sixth grade, after you have made your project completely textured, you have areas puffing out, you have areas that are pushed back, and you feel as though it's completely done, you are going to take and carefully peel the tape and the picture off of your project. If it bends at all, just kind of flatten it back out. You're going to take this and recycle and throw it away. And at your table, you have some diluted India ink. India ink is very permanent, so you want to make sure not to get it on your clothes or your skin. You're using a brush, and I want you to have um, your project on top of a piece of free draw paper so you can transport it over to the drying rack nice and easy. Um, you want to wear uh, possibly an apron to protect your clothes. I know I always wear one. Uh, the red ones will fit you. You just pop them over your head. You're going to j then just brush the India ink over the top trying to get it to settle in all of the low spots. It's going to show all of your textures a little bit better. So that you can really see your picture pop out. After this has been prepared, I am going to have you take it over to the drying rack. You're kind of getting all of the edges and letting it kind of pool and sit in those low spots. Because when it dries, it'll really show all of the work that you've put on to um, your project, trying to get it to show all of your texture. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. You can kind of start to see my dog face even more. We are going to be mounting these on uh, paper the next time when they're dry and putting them on display. Um, the rest of the time in class, I am going to have you go on Pixlr.com and play around and remind yourself of all those tools. We used them in the fifth grade. We are going to be doing several assignments using Pixlr next in the next unit. So I want you to make sure you are re-familiarized with um, how to use it. All right, thank you for listening.